Hi, I'm Seki from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up your Elgato 4K 60S Plus with a PS4 Pro. Before beginning, make sure you've downloaded and installed the latest software and drivers for 4K 60S Plus from Elgato.com. Also, make sure you've disabled HDCP on your PS4 before you connect it to your capture card. For the setup, you will need a PS4 Pro, two HDMI 2.0 cables, one of which we include with the 4K 60S Plus, and a TV or monitor to play on. Keep in mind that your display's native resolution must meet or exceed the resolution and color range you're looking to capture on 4K 60S Plus. So if you'd like to record 4K, you'll need a 4K monitor. And if you're looking to capture HDR, you'll need an HDR monitor. First, plug one end of the first HDMI cable into the HDMI output of the PS4 Pro. Next, plug the other end of this HDMI cable into the HDMI input of the 4K 60S Plus. We're now going to take one end of the second HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI out port of the 4K 60S Plus. And now plug the other end of this cable into the HDMI input of your TV or monitor. Now you can connect the USB-C cable and power adapter from the 4K 60S Plus to your wall outlet for power. If you're using 4K 60S Plus in standalone mode, you're all set on the setup and can insert an SD card and press the record button when the button is glowing like so to indicate it's ready to record. And once you're done, you can press the record button again to stop the recording. And once the button stops flashing, you can take out the SD card. Please refer to our video on 4K 60S Plus standalone recording for more information on recording footage to SD cards. If you'd like to connect your 4K 60S Plus to your computer, plug the second USB-C cable from the 4K 60S Plus to your computer, and then you can launch your favorite capture software. You can either open up 4K CU like shown, or you can add 4K 60S Plus as a video capture device in apps like OBS, XSplit, Slobs, and more. Keep in mind if you're looking to capture HDR, 4K CU does support HDR recording, but at this time, OBS, Slobs, and a lot of other encoders do not support this. However, if you'd still like to play in HDR and stream in apps like OBS, you can use a feature found in 4K Capture Utility called Streamlink, which will allow you to send an SDR tone mapped image from 4K CU to your favorite encoder that supports NDI. Be sure to check out our full video on using Streamlink in 4K CU. Keep in mind that because 4K 60S Plus is encoding the signal before sending it over USB 3.0, there is about a 200 millisecond delay coming into your capture software. So if you're using apps like OBS, Slobs, or XSplit, you may find that you'd like to add a delay to your other sources to keep everything in sync. Please refer to our syncing 4K 60S Plus video for more information on how to do this. But with this setup, you're now able to play, record, and stream your favorite PS4 Pro game in up to 4K60 HDR with your Elgato 4K60 S Plus. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.